So you might be curious as to why we are starting today's video in my garage rather than starting it in my office. And that is because today's project, well, it's very, very dirty. And I didn't realize just how dirty it was until I had originally brought it inside and started removing panels. And then I realized that I'd much rather hit it with a leaf blower before I go ahead and disassemble everything so that we can deep clean it and upgrade it and get it ready for sale. So what we have here today is the toughest gaming PC that has ever been purchased on Facebook Marketplace, and I would bet money on that. And what I mean when I say that is that most of the items that are inside of this computer are Asus Tough brand items, because we have a tough motherboard, a tough graphics card, tough RAM, tough fans, a tough case. The only thing that isn't tough brand inside of this computer are is the SSDs that are here, the power supply, which is a Seasonic power supply, and a Coolmaster 240 millimeter AIO. And judging by the state of this computer, I'd say that the previous owner treated it like it was the toughest gaming PC ever. Now let me go ahead and hit this thing with a leaf blower real quick because it is extremely hot outside today and I would much rather record the rest of this video inside. You know, living in Florida is great until you have to go outside. Now this system is far from clean, but I definitely feel way more comfortable having this in my house now that we've blown off the majority of dust in it. Now, as far as system specs are concerned, this is actually an extremely powerful computer in the making because we have an X570 Wi-Fi motherboard and inside of the CPU socket, we have a Ryzen 9 3900X, so we have a very powerful CPU. The only real performance drawback that I see inside of this computer is the fact that it has a 2060 eight gig graphics card. Now, there's nothing wrong with a 2060 graphics card. It is an eight gig card, but with a Ryzen 9 3900X, we can have a much more powerful graphics card to get us a better performance when we do go and play games on this system. And don't you worry, I've got that covered. Now, the other things that we get inside of this system is we do have 32 gigs of RGB RAM and we have three RGB SSDs. Now they are all 250 gig SSDs and when I turn the system on to test it, he has one 250 gig drive operating for his operating system and boot drive and everything and then the other two are in a RAID so he has additional 500 gigs of storage as you know for his games or files or whatever but even even still that's only 750 gigs of storage i feel like that's a little low so we're going to keep those in there because i think they look really cool but i have more storage planned for this system and the other thing that we get is a 240 millimeter aio but it's not a tough brand aio and i may have something special planned for that but this computer needs a serious deep clean so that's pretty much what this video is. It's trying to clean this thing up so that we can upgrade it and get this thing listed because I wanna be honest with you, we're pretty much done with this season. Now, in case you didn't know, this right here is the Build Up Challenge, the series where we build and sell gaming PCs so that we can save up those profits and eventually get to the point where we can build a top of the line gaming PC. And this is episode number 10. And I'm gonna give you guys a real quick spoiler. I have sold every single computer that we have put together in this season. And we started out with a grand total of $1,000 and we now have $3,552 to use towards our epic computer. Now, $3,552 is an extremely large amount of money to spend on a computer, but we need more. We need more money. If you can believe it, we actually need more money to build the computer that I wanna show you guys. So that's why this computer is here. We are going to gut this system. We are going to deep clean this system because it absolutely needs it. And we're going to upgrade the performance on this system so that we can sell this computer and add those funds to our bank so that we can get to building that system because it's gonna be beautiful. So let's get going.
Now it has definitely been a while since I have had to deep clean a computer as extensively as I had to with this computer and it was actually pretty nice because I was allowed to let my OCD just soar and clean every single piece as well as I possibly could. Now I think we did a pretty decent job. There is like some, you know, little tiny nicks and dents inside of the case and different components that that's just normal wear and tear. You really can't do anything about that. But for the most part, I think we've got pretty much everything looking as new as it's ever gonna look. So I did run into something that I thought was pretty interesting while I was taking this computer apart, and that is with this RAM right here. Now, if you look really closely here at the RGB portion of this RAM, you'll notice that they are two slightly different colors, and that's because they're actually two completely different kits. One is 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM, and the other is 16 gigs of 2666 megahertz RAM. And that started my gears turning because generally when it comes to like pre-built systems is where I find the 2666 megahertz RAM. And then you look at this tiny little graphics card and this tiny little thing is also something that I expect from pre-built systems. So I have a feeling like this started out as a pre-built and he had added to it. Cause remember it also had a cool master 240 millimeter AIO, but there was plenty of space for a 360 millimeter AIO. And I feel like maybe he bought this and then added to it to customize it to what he wanted. But regardless, there are a couple changes that we definitely need to make to this system before we can put it back together. 
So the first change that we are going to be making to this system is with these SSDs here. Now there's nothing wrong with these SSDs, but what we are going to do is we're going to throw them back in the system and we're going to run them all in a RAID so that we have an additional 750 gigs of storage because we are going to be switching the C drive to a M.2 NVMe. A one terabyte SSD is going to do this system wonders. It's just better to run off one of these and then we'll use the other SSDs as backup storage. So something that simply cannot go back inside of this computer is that 240 millimeter Coolmaster AIO. I will not put it back in here because if you are to look into the glass, that would be the only thing inside of that computer that is not Asus Tough brand. And because of that, I had to go out and get this 360 millimeter AIO, which is Asus Tough brand. And I believe this is gonna look awesome in that case. Now the last change that simply has to happen for this computer is this 2060's gotta go. This is a Ryzen 9 3900X build and a 2060 is simply not enough juice for that CPU. So this needs to go. And because this is an Asus tough computer, I had to stick with the theme and get us a much beefier Asus card. This is a 3070, and it's definitely gonna pair way better with our Ryzen 9 3900X. Now, I think we've done enough talking. I think it's about time we put this thing back together, don't you? Let's do it.
So just in case you're on the fence on if this thing is in fact the toughest gaming PC that has ever touched Facebook Marketplace, don't worry, there's more. When I picked up this original system, he also gave me tough headphones, he gave me a tough mouse, and he gave me a tough keyboard. I mean, this guy might have been the toughest dude in existence. Now before I go ahead and show you what this absolute tank of a gaming PC is capable of, I'm gonna talk about the RAM for just a second here. Now I was debating on whether or not I should remove the slower RAM and just stick with 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM and then run XMP on that RAM or if it was better to just keep the 32 gigs of RAM. So it was a ca capacity versus speed issue and Honestly, I, I like having all dim slots filled up, so I went with the 32 gigs, but you guys let me know in the comments, what do you think is better, capacity or speed? Yeah, I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are on it, but while you guys are down there typing, I'm gonna get my game on, let's go. So to start off our gameplay, I took it easy on this PC and I tested out Blood Hunt at a max preset and we were getting 120 FPS. Now jumping into Battlefield 2042, also at a max preset, this system was pushing out the toughest 99 FPS ever. Now dropping into Helldivers at, you guessed it, a max preset. We were getting 81 beautiful frames per second. And for the last game I tested, Horizon Zero Dawn, and this tough girl was getting 87 FPS, and you guessed it, max preset. Now this PC is absolutely wicked, and I'm positive it is the toughest gaming PC that I have ever put together. Now, we do need to decrease the total cost of what it took to build this system right here from our total funds that we are gonna be using for our grand finale PC. Now, for the original PC, I was able to pick it up for $400. It definitely needed a ton of cleaning, and I'm sure that that's why he decided he would agree to sell it for $400, just because he knew that it was very dirty. Now, for the graphics card, I was able to pick up this 3070 right here for $320. Not the best deal in the world, but $320 for a 3070 is a pretty darn good deal. And I spent $173 on the SSD and the Tough AIO, which I think was necessary. Honestly, we needed this Tough brand AIO rather than that Cool Master AIO just to just to fit the build. I mean, now everything inside of here is Tough brand other than the power supply, and I'm, 
I couldn't be more thrilled with how this system turned out. And the grand total to put this system together was $893, but you do have to remember there was a 2060 that came with this system. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna list that 2060 for like $150. That's definitely below what they usually sell for on eBay. And $150 off of the grand total of this PC is a, a nice little, um, a nice little bit of money back. And I'm gonna go ahead and list this PC for, I'm gonna say $1,100 is the appropriate price for this system right here. Now, some of you guys might be wondering why I left the RGB fans off in the front because they are in fact RGB fans, but the rear exhaust fan here is not RGB and I felt like I didn't want all the light and color to be up front and then nothing here in the back. So I figure if I left the front and the back off and just made the middle and the inside of the computer the focus point, it would definitely come out looking good. And I think I made Asus proud with this build because this thing is looking really awesome. Now, once I do find a buyer for this system, that's pretty much a wrap on season 1.5. I mean. And you know, the funny thing is I still have more builds planned. I still have a whole closet full of computers. I didn't think we were going to get to the grand finale as fast as we are, but hey, I don't think anyone's going to argue with us getting to the final build, which I cannot wait to show you. Hey, and if you really wanted a test of what this computer is capable of, I actually edited the video you're watching on this system right here. Now, if you guys had like a little bit of fun with me today, like always, it doesn't need to be like this much fun, but if it was like this much fun, if you had that much fun with me today, then go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy weekly PC builds. I put together one of these just about every single Saturday for you guys, and it takes a lot of effort to get these done, and any support on the channel is always appreciated. And now that we're talking about support, thank you so much to my channel members. I appreciate every single one of you guys for supporting this channel. It means the world to me. And for everybody else, I hope that no matter where you are in the world, you, yeah you, are having the most fantastic day. And I'm gonna see you right here for the next episode.